Hey everybody, it's Saint Steph from Explorers.life. We teach people how to build DIY campers. Welcome back to episode number 17 in our Ford Transit DIY camper van build series. In last week's episode, we installed a dimmer switch onto the lights, and in this week's episode, we're gonna be installing two-way switches. So let's get started. Here's a list of parts that you're gonna need for this project. Some wire. Two single pole double throw on on switches. A 12 volt dimmer switch. Some lever nuts. Spade connectors. A 12 volt light and a source of power. This video is based on the diagrams found in the Explorus Life 12 volt branch circuit guidebook. And we've also assembled a two-way switch wiring kit with all the exact parts that we use in this video, as well as a few alternative sizes, which can be found at shop.explorus.life. How about a tabletop demonstration of a two-way light switch? So we already have our battery here connected to our fuse block, like you've seen in the last, I don't know, four videos or something like that. It's got positive and negative wires off of the fuse block so that we can show this as a tabletop demonstration. This power is off, so we do not have power coming to any of this kind of stuff. Let's talk about the switches that we need to actually wire a two-way switch uh, lighting circuit. This is the type of switch that we need for the uh, two-way lighting circuit. This is a single pole, double throw, on, on switch. This one has there are five different pins on the back. These top two, we are completely ignoring. These are only to make the light work that is inside of this, and I do not want the light to work on this, so we just simply don't connect anything to this. What makes this good for a two-way uh, a, a two switch circuit is power is coming into this pin right here, and then it's going out to this pin when the switch is in this position, and then it's going out to this pin whenever it's in this position. So whenever the switch is activated in either direction, power is just flipping from going to this one versus this one. So it's coming in and then going out or out, depending on which direction the switch is going. And we need two of these switches to accomplish this circuit, and so let's wire up this circuit. We have two of these switches, and I went ahead and wired the pigtails onto the connectors here, um, just the same as I have in the previous videos. So if you don't really know how to do this part, consider going back and watching some of the previous videos because we've covered this multiple times. Uh, so let's wire these together. From our fuse block to our first switch, we need power being delivered into the center terminal of the first switch. So now power would be being delivered to the first switch, like so. And then for the second switch, we need to wire the first switch to the second switch. I'm gonna place them like this. The bottom terminal on the first switch gets wired to the bottom terminal of the second switch, like so. The top terminal of the first switch gets wired to the top terminal of the second switch. Like so. Now I have my lighting circuit here, just positive and negative wires going all the way to a puck light at the end and I'm going to connect the positive wire to the center terminal of the second switch. So this is the positive side of this circuit. So note, all of these wires on all of these switches are positive just because we are breaking up 
the positive wire that goes in the full circuit. For the negative wire, that simply goes back to the negative bus bar or one of the lever nuts that is in on the negative side of the system, just like so. Okay, now we can turn battery power on and we have a light here. So that's a positive sign, but we're going to kind of kill the lights so it's a little bit easier to see this light turning on and off. And let's test this out. We have two switches that would ultimately be in two different locations. They're both in the off position right now, but the light is on. But with two way switches, that's not really how it really doesn't matter. So we got one, the light turns off, up, light turns on, down, light turns off, down, light turns on. Okay, that's working perfectly. And this is why this works. So now we have a fully functioning two-way circuit system. But I also know that a lot of people want to have dimmers in this system. So I'm going to show you how to put this dimmer into this circuit so that we can control the brightness or dimness of the lights from the first switch location. And through the power of movie magic, I'm all done. So this was the exact same process as it was in the last video where I showed you how to wire this dimmer switch. I went over that in a bit more detail in the last video, so you may want to go check that out. But this is all connected to the upstream side of the first switch. So positive for the dimmer switch goes to the positive lever nut between the fuse block and the first switch. And then the negative side of things is still split the same way I showed you in the last video with that dimmer to the battery negative and the light negative here. So we can see that it's still turning off and on as appropriate. We'll turn this on, put this over here in the shade a little bit, and we turn it up and down and it is still dimming. Now you could actually put this dimmer on the downstream side of the second switch as well in much of the same way. Is that true? Yeah, I want to try it. <laughs> okay, so that, that goes away. So this needs to be on the center connector. So now that the dimmer switch is powered, at any time that the light is actually getting power, it actually does work. So we can turn it down, turn this on, brighter, dimmer, turn it off on that side. I don't know, which way do we wanna do this? Leave that on, off here, turn it on, it dims. Yeah, I would say that's fully functional. So you can definitely put the dimmer switch uh, powered from the center terminal of either the first switch or the second switch, and it works just fine. So now that we know all of that, we are going to take this circuit and we are going to install it in the van. We're going to run all the wires and then circle back around and show you how all this actually looks installed in the van. Now everything is wired together, it's time for a circuit tour, which is going to start from our single 100 amp hour Battleborn lithium battery that we have temporarily just affixed to the floor right here. It's not affixed, it's just sitting there. Running positive and negative up to the top, up here, to our fuse block, which fuse block's going to ultimately live right up here, but it's just temporarily zip tied right there for demonstration purposes. Here is our first switch. Off of our fuse block, we have our positive and negative wires coming down to our switch and our dimmer. The negative one is coming in to this lever nut, 
which is going to the battery negative wire for the dimmer. And then negative is coming out on that red wire right there, which is going negative wire out to our lights. On the positive side of things, we have our positive wire coming in, feeding the center terminal of our switch. And then it's going in through the switch and it's going out one of these two side terminals, depending on which direction the switch is going. The center terminal of the switch is also feeding positive, the positive wire for the dimmer. Then our two positives and one negative that are coming across the top of the van back to the back. And when we get back here, Stephanie is going to talk about the rear switch. Now we have our two positives and negative are coming into the switch. The negatives are just passing by the switch and then going back out. It's not actually connected to the switch. The two positives are coming in and are connected to the switch on either side. And then that positive is coming out right here and going back up to our loads. Showing how the flow of power through this switch and through these two wires and the back switch, uh, showing that in person is kind of difficult. Uh, so I've made a graphic representation of kind of how the power is flowing through this circuit whenever the switches are in their various positions. <laughs> the dimmer works pretty good. Um, there it is almost all the way off, as low as it can go before it actually turns off. And then full brightness. And somewhere in between, you may be seeing some uh, flickering of the lights right over in this area where it's bouncing off the walls. We're not actually seeing that in real life. That's just how the camera and the frame rate is picking up the light coming off of uh, this LED strip. But rest assured, it looks great on our end and there's no flickering or anything like that. And we're super happy with how this turned out. Uh, this circuit is going to be what is controlling our, uh, our strip lighting. It's going to be underneath all of the cabinets um, once we get this thing all built up. Which we're pretty excited to see how that turns out. And that pretty much wraps up this video. Now that our two-way switches are installed, it's time for 120 volt outlets. And that's coming up next, so stay tuned. Now we hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, it would be awesome if you would share it with somebody or a group who you think could use it. Leave any questions you've got or new things you learned in the comment section below. If this video inspired you to build something, be sure to share your projects with us on Instagram with the Explorers Live tag so that we can see and share your projects. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper building tutorials and we will see you in the next video.